What's up guys, Jason here. Today I'm going to share with you all locations of the dormant hands here on Ancient Evil. You're going to need these dormant hands if you want to get any of the elemental gauntlets. I believe there's 20 locations in total. This took a long time to find, but without any more nonsense, let's jump right into it. Going down the sacred way, the first location is going to be on this fountain here in the Stoa of the Athenians. The next location is going to be here at the Spartan Monument underneath the actual statue of the Spartan. Then a little ways down, we're going to find another spot here in the hill right next to the wooden stump the next location is going to be right next to the perk machine there then again in close proximity we're going to be going behind the bull statue and once again another location here where the arrow splits the road all right now we're going to make our way up this path here and another location where a dormant hand can spawn is right next to these purple flowers here on the floor then making our way up these stairs in the intersection of treasuries there's actually a location here on this crystal i passed it up in my game so i paused it there real quick just to show you where it's located and then the final spot we're going to be going to in this area of the map is actually backtracking back to the stoa of the athenians and it will be right next to this golden boat all right so these are the locations here for the, I guess, overworld part of the map. Let's jump over to the underworld and head over to the River of Sorrow where there's the first location in the pathway right there. The second location for the Dormant Hands here in the River of Sorrow is going to be in the actual water right in front of the Odin Perk Machine. Now taking a left to the Cliff Ruins, we're going to make our way over to the Eagle Cage, and there's a location to the left of it where it just so happened to be in my game. So there it is right there, the Rubble of Rocks, and I end up picking up this Dormant Hand. Then going back a little ways to the Magical Forge, there are two locations here. The first one is on this workbench, and the second one is going to be to the left of the actual forge itself with the blue flames in a pile sitting on the floor right there. Alright, so now backtracking a little bit, just looping around the cliff ruins, we're going to make our way to the Broken Bridge. And as you can see here, in this vase is going to be another dormant hand, and we will now move on to the center of the world where there are two locations here. First one would be to the left of the Oranos Shrine in this little mud pile right there. The next location here for the center of the world is going to be at the top here, and it will be in another rock rubble pile. And now we're going to head on over to Python Pass. And the first location is actually going to be right here. Very, very hard to see location. And I'm lucky it happened to be in my game here so I could show you guys where it actually is, because I think this is the toughest one to see. And there you go. There's the dormant hand here in Python Pass. Now we're going to pass this acid trap and go ahead and go up the actual pass itself, past the eagle cage, and near the titan wall by will be another crystal for you to break with a dormant hand located in it. One more location, guys. Here we go. Up Python Pass, next to the Karon Shrine, it will be sitting right next to this flaming blue cauldron. Whoa, holy crap, that's a lot of locations for something as simple as the dormant hand. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. It's been Jason, and I'll see you guys next time.